If you're struggling with your render quality, or if it's taking too much time to finish, then this is the video for you. In this tutorial, I will show you the best way to get high quality renders with the best optimized time. So like the video, cause this will be dope. Some basic things. Before we start, the settings for today is for Cycles Render Engine. We did a video on EV a while back so you can check it out. Your device should be on GPU by now, unless you're running on Potato PC, and if the GPU is grayed out, you should go to the system settings and make sure it's on CUDA, or go with Optics for NVIDIA cards like the one I have here, and my device specs are in the description if you want to see them. Getting sharp detailed render with the shortest time depends mainly on two areas. One is the sampling render settings, not the viewport one. The sampling render is what you get with the F12 final render. So I will close the viewport tab and focus on the render area below it, which is the first area where you can fix your render. The second one is the format resolution or the image size. And by default, it's 1920 by 1080. So based on those default numbers, let's do a render to see how much it will take and what quality we will get from this. It took seven minutes to render the scene, quite long for a low quality if you zoomed in to the shelf. Nothing is readable there, so I will save this image before we see what we can do to fix the quality and render time. And a quick tip if you closed the render window, you can get it back or get the last render back by hitting F11 to view render. Starting with the Sampling Render tab, we have the max samples number set to 4096, which is too high. And that means Blender will shoot a ray to read the pixel up to 4096, which is going to take a lot of time. So let's keep it low. Scenes like this one generally go around 128 samples. Might go up to 400 if you're fancy. Anything more is not needed with simple scenes. The minimum samples is set to zero for auto. And you can also set a time for the render. Whether it get enough samples or not. Say you want it finished in 10 minutes, and that's it. But it's also not needed. The important number after the max samples is the noise threshold. Which is the amount of noise Blender consider good to move on from. The lower the value, the more it takes time to render. So we can make it on 0.1 and see if it generates noise. If that's the case, we can go down to 0.05. The default value takes way too long to render, and it's usually not needed, especially with lit scenes like this daylight room. In the denoising sub-tab, you can make the device on optics if you have a NVIDIA, or leave it on the default one, but make sure the use GPU option is turned on. The GPU render thrives on big scale, so you might think that the default 1920 by 1080 is big, but with still shot. You need to go with 4K and above to show details, or at least make things visible in the back. So I usually double the percentage under and see how it goes. The render took 1 minute and 5 seconds. The quality in the back still not the best, but it's way better than before. So we might go with 400% for a more sharp details on this shelf, which is not needed, because at that point, just set another camera and take a second shot. But if you want more sharp render, spike the format resolution and use the Control b region render to make small area test and see how it goes before you render the entire thing. It looks better now. The hand is sharp, the text kind of readable, but are on the far point from the camera, and you usually don't need that level. 200% should be more than enough in simple scenes, since the time will go up with the size, and you're doubling on both axes, so it's four times bigger. Other things which might affect your render time is the persistent data for both re-rendering like we're doing here in test renders, or with render animation. This option make Blender store the external information, 
mainly the texture maps you have in the scene, so it don't need to load them back with every render you do. And it's quite important with animation. Yet, the cost is on your RAM usage. The tile size is set to a high number, which is good. Don't try to lower it down if you're on GPU, because it will take a lot of time to finish. We used to set it on 64 back when CPU render was an option to left some weight from the device, making it easy to render on your machine. But GPU works better on big spaces, so either keep it on default or turn the tiles off to make it render the entire image together, which is the fastest way. Other thing that affect your render quality and time is the light paths. It's preferable to leave them on default unless you have an issue in your scene. Like if some places are dark or showing as black, try to increase the transparency number to see if it fix that. The caustics are the same. If you have any kind of transparency or reflections, you might mess it up for extra couple of seconds. You can try to set the scene on solid mode before rendering, or even hide the entire scene from the layers, that for sure will make it lighter on your device when render, and it might also lower your render time in some cases. I don't think the render format have anything to do with your render time and quality, rather than with the output you get. You have more colors based on the format you pick, and PNG is more than enough. You can pick and choose when the render is finished, so, with those small fixes, we went from 1 minute 5 seconds down to 47 seconds, which is cool for this scene. But you can go with 400% resolution to get a better quality in around 3 minutes, less than half the original time, with 10 times better quality. So to keep it short, if you want to up the quality, you go and up the resolution. And if you want to optimize your render time, then you control the max samples and the noise threshold. Then pick GPU wherever you find it and hide everything before render. Quite simple fix to left up your final render with cycles. And you can check the other video for EV lighting, which is the EV render settings in general. So have fun with it. And that's it. You can go to your usual business, but remember to drop a like before that. Stay sharp. Goodbye.